Hello friends, welcome to Bulls vs BS Trading Academy. In this video, we will talk about the support and resistance areas given yesterday, our trading style for today and analysis for tomorrow. So today we have seen a good downfall in the Nifty from 12,000 level till 11,900 and from 11,910 we have seen a good rally for the upside, a 100 points up move. So all this downfall and upfall was expected and in the yesterday video itself i have clearly mentioned that we are going to see two conditions either gap up or gap down so if at all if you open gap down i told simply to take targets till 11,940 and 11,900 so yesterday itself in the video i have clearly mentioned that let's give a quick uh, recap of it could, could stop, stop for a while for tomorrow, tomorrow. That, that is we can, can see some, some good up move, move till 12,120 and uh, 162 180 levels, levels. So, so it, it, it will be as a pullback, pullback for, for the upside, upside and uh, try, try to, to find shorting opportunities in the upside if you open gap up tomorrow and go up. So, so this, this is case 1. Case 2 if you don't go directly uh, in a gap down mode then, then just, just go, go for shorting, shorting till 12,940 and 900 levels. So, so if you don't feel broke, if you don't feel break this uh, green range that is uh, going to 12,220 just, just go, go for shorting, shorting uh, till 12,960 and 900. So, so in this range, we, we can see this uh, stop, uh, fall to stop, stop in the Nifty, and, and in the, the Bank Nifty also. Bank Nifty. Nifty. So, friends, yesterday itself, I have told that uh, if at all, if we go gap down, we can short Nifty till 11,960 and 900, and from 11,900, we can expect an up move. So this was clearly mentioned in the yesterday's video uh, that is at uh, 4 minute from 4 four minutes uh, you can see the video that uh, I have clearly mentioned the case 2 condition if you go gap down you can see a fall till 11,962-900 and from there we can expect an up move and in the morning also in our telegram group I have given only one post that is uh, a slight uptrend can start from 12,000 level uh, so once this uh, 12,000 level was broken, 12,000 good uh, with a good uh, bearish candle has broken this 12,000 level. We have took some short positions over here and exited at 11,940 around. So this was our trade and I was busy for the rest of the day. So I expected this up move from 11,900 itself when we were uh, at this stage. So whatever the fall we are seeing from here. I have taken a trade at this position before the fall has started. One trade over here, another trade over here. And yesterday I have closed all my shots over here, uh, which were uh, positional trades. So I expected a slight up move because we are. I expected this up move to start from 12,000 level. So waited for this uh, up move to fizzle out. So closed all my positions. And once this 12,000 level was taken out, I have taken a short trade again and exited with a profit. So whatever the up move we are getting now, that is from 11,900 level. So one more 100 points up move can be expected till 12,140 to 140 levels. So this is a trap up move. Do not enter this up move. It is better to avoid this up move and look for shorting again from 12,140 to 160 levels. If at all market comes over there tomorrow. So this is how we trade Nifty and Bank Nifty. Also on February 14th itself, you can see the mark I have given. So when Nifty was at uh, on the February 14th that uh, one o'clock itself, I have told that. Uh, so at 11 o'clock itself, I have told trend and indices change. Sell on rise strategy would give good returns. So this is how we are dealing with Nifty since three days. On every rise, we are just selling it. On every rise, we just sold it. And we yesterday itself we have closed all our positions. Now Nifty has give, has turned for the upside for a slight up move till 11,160, and from there again we will see a good fall in the Nifty. So this expiry is going to be very volatile. Maybe we can see this up move to fizzle out on the expiry day, or else by tomorrow itself. So be careful on this expiry day before you trade, and. Uh, if at all, if we talk about Bank Nifty, let's see what we have discussed in the Bank Nifty also. T has tried to maintain this low today, so we can expect some up move tomorrow. 
so in the bank nifty also i have told that the same thing if at all uh, we might see a good selling from this upper levels but uh, bank nifty simply broken this level and it gave a good shorting opportunity you can see the level which was protected yesterday at the morning uh, and in the afternoon was broken clearly and a good shorting opportunity was given and we have seen this up move from 30300 level so this up move whatever is generated and another 300 points of up move can be expected so this is around 376 points so one more 376 to 500 points from here so this can extend up till 31000 level to 31100 level so it might be <coughs> excuse me possible that this up move can be completed tomorrow itself or else on the expiry day we might see a good fall maybe we might see the start of the good fall so be careful on this expiry and mostly look for shorting again either tomorrow or day after tomorrow whenever you see the weakness in the market at this levels 31000 level to 31100 levels so this is forms an important area here so this area is an important resistance area so this 31000 to 31100 level is an important resistance area so here is there will be a good shorting opportunity over here again till 30200 levels maybe tomorrow or maybe on the expiry day so this is the analysis for tomorrow and there are some few support and resistance areas of nifty so maybe these are the old i suppose so these are the new support and resistance areas see 11935 to 9, uh, 905 is the first support area 12008 to 12040 around 37 to 40 is a second support area for nifty and 12080 to 12100 is a resistance area for nifty tomorrow so mark these levels on your chart and trade accordingly and uh, if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and also share with the other traders thanks for watching